Uh, especially now with the new legislation coming into uh, force in Europe, um, you guys must be pretty well placed for the future. Even though the economy might be slowing down even in Europe, it seems that uh, you guys uh, have a pretty good outlook for this next year. Perhaps it's even stranger. I tend to think that the type of software that we offer, or perhaps more in general identity management, is sort of uh, anti-cyclical, is that the word? Whenever the, the conjuncture is going up, we have a pretty hard time because all the focus is on the business, and once it goes down, people start organizing things, start preventing risks again, and that's, of course, when we are doing perfect business. That's what I've seen over the last 10 years. When everybody was complaining, I had the best years in my life. When everybody was shouting around, you must be doing perfect business. Well, it wasn't too good at all. <laughs> well, anyway. Then but, uh, what I would like to add to that, um, I tend to see also on this conference that people try to sell their product as a contribution to compliance. And I personally think that that is not a sound business model. Um, Compliance in the end, of course, is the capability to report. To report why a certain person has an access right, what the policies are in order to get a certain access right, all the other things. But the real thing, of course, is that if you are able to really implement effectively these policies, what you are actually doing is establishing a point of control that will also have business value. And that's what I would like to see that we concentrate on, that we are able, with this, uh, with this platform, to improve operational excellence, to make sure that people get their roles quicker, that they get the right roles quicker, that we optimize on our authorization models. And perhaps then in the end people will see the real best business benefits that, for instance, our, let's say, more mature customers are already facing, why it is that they really like Beyond, that has to do with the capability that the IT becomes responsive to business change. If we have reorganizations, click, click, and you simply change that in the administration because you have this platform, this single point of administration where you can do that. Just imagine what you used to do when, you, when there was a reorganization and you had to adopt your access structures. It took ages. Now you do this in your single point of administration and suddenly it works out in the rest of the, uh, let's say, IT environment. And that is the real big benefit. The real big benefit is not being in control. The real big benefit is then that by being in control, your IT becomes responsive to business change, to acquisitions, to changes in business processes, to reorganizations, to divestments. And in the end, if we want to attract more people to this kind of conference, more people to our industry, than just the people who are walking around nervously that they have some sort of a compliance problem, I think that the future is very bright for this, uh, for this industry. And also to, for to, this conference. Right, to turn, uh, to turn requirements for uh, compliance into a real opportunity. Yep, yep, exactly. exactly. Well, perfect. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you very much. Everything's going great for you. Cheers. It's been a pleasure. Cheers. <laughs>